Hi, my name is Dwayne Kersey. In this video, we'll explain how to connect your JVC cameras to an RMLP100 controller on an IP network. In the box, you should have the camera itself, its lens cap, remote control, AC adapter, ceiling mount and screws, and some JVC labels to use when mounting the camera inverted. Next is the remote control, the RMLP100. In the box, you should have the remote control itself and an AC adapter. You will also need an ethernet switch. We recommend a PoE type switch so that it will power your cameras and eliminate the need to use the AC adapters with each camera. You will also need some ethernet cables. And again, make sure you have enough cables to connect all that you need to connect to the switch. Before proceeding to the next step, it is required that your JVC equipment be updated to the latest firmware. Please check your firmware at our website, pro.jvc.com. First, connect each camera to your ethernet switch using an ethernet cable. Once all cameras are connected, connect your RMLP100 remote control to the switch using yet another ethernet cable. Once all devices are connected to your ethernet switch, power on the ethernet switch. At this point, you'll see your cameras all initialize as they start up. Next, go to the controller, press the settings tab, then network, camera registration, and into auto registration. A pop-up will then appear asking if you are sure you want to continue with the auto configuration. Press enter to confirm. This enables the controller to go to each camera and assign them a new IP address. The cameras will then log into the controller so that they are available to communicate with one another. Since our PTZs are designed to simply connect to a PoE switch on an isolated network, the controller will find and automatically connect to the cameras. If you have any further questions, please contact us via email at ptzsupport at us.jvckenwood.com.